how to use WP data chart callbacks in WP data tables. Hi guys, welcome back to WP data tables tutorials. My name is Alexander and I'm here to show you an example of how you can use the data chart callbacks to change some stuff on your charts. We're going to be covering a simple callback which can be seen in our FAQ and it is how to use a callback to add the labels to two vertical axes. Now what we need is a table like this. So there's year column, loan, interest, deposit and loan term. Now what we need to do is create a chart. Now the chart used in this example is high chart and we'll name it two axis labels. Now this is a basic column chart and in here we need to select the previously created table which is vertical labels on two axes. Next we choose the columns that will appear that would be year, loan and interest. We move that to, the, to this section columns used in the chart and click on next. Now in here the chart has the responsive width that's perfectly okay. We can enable grouping. Um, we don't need to actually do that. And here under series, we are showing vertical axis where it's shown the interest and the loan. Now the chart is ready to be used. So we can copy the short code or we can simply edit this page with Elementor and on refresh since we've just created this uh, chart we needed to refresh the page so now we can delete this and type in WP data charts pull it in here and we select this chart two axis labels when we click on update we can preview the changes on the front end and we will see the chart now the chart is in here so you can see 40k and 16, 12, 8, 4, and 0, unlike this. So these, these prefix and suffix are not being transferred over into, into the chart. So what we need to do is simply copy this from our FAQ section. So it's under here, support charts, how to add labels on two axes, copy, and then edit the page again. Now we'll need the charts ID, which in this case is one. So we are going to add, we are going to add a new, um, okay, let's see, a new uh, widget. It can be a text editor and we'll switch to text and paste this code that we've copied from the FAQ. Now, before we publish this, we need to replace the ID of the chart so it's not 94, but one as shown in here and update. Once we update the page, the front end will update as well. And now, as you can see, these prefix and suffix are being pulled into the chart and are being shown. So the same prefix that you see in here is shown on the label on the front end. And when you hover over, you can see the loan is 30,000, the interest is 15, the loan is 38, the interest is 10, and so on. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys will jump to our FAQ section and check out all the callbacks that you can use in WP data tables. We will be adding more in the near future. So as we add more examples there, we will be recording more videos. And if you guys have any suggestions or questions, if you have any comments in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. While you're here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care guys.